Welcome to Cooking Companion TV and this recipe demo of cabbage stuffed cabbage. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. This recipe comes from April Bloomfield's cookbook, A Girl and Her Greens. And while the original recipe uses bacon, vegetarians can easily substitute mushrooms. I really like this one, so I'm hoping you do too. We'll start by prepping a quarter pound of carrots, diced into quarter inch pieces. Unless you're slicing carrots, they're easier to handle when you've broken them down into shorter pieces. I'm having my shorter pieces, then dividing each half into two to three length pieces to then make the small dices. Next, we need to dice the bacon or the mushrooms if you're making that substitution. Again, quarter inch dices is what we're going for. And finally, the onion, which just needs to be sliced in half, then sliced into thin half moon pieces. In a large, heavy bottomed, wide pot, melt butter with some oil over medium heat and add the bacon and carrots. Distribute them evenly throughout the pot. And top with the onions. We're gonna let this cook undisturbed for a few minutes, so take your time to evenly distribute the onions too. Then sprinkle flaky sea salt and pop on the lid. Cook without stirring for five to seven minutes until the bacon looks translucent. After a few minutes, stir the mixture and keep cooking covered until the onions are very soft but not colored or about 15 minutes. Meanwhile, let's take care of the cabbage. We need 12 large leaves. The recipe is assuming you're using raw cabbage, but I have placed my cabbage heads in the freezer a couple days ago and have let them thaw, which gives the leaves a similar limp texture as steaming or boiling. Boiling may actually make them more tender, but this takes less time once I'm ready to start cooking. So remove the outer leaves that are probably damaged and dirty, and then gently peel the leaves back and cut from the core and set aside the largest ones. You'll need two heads for the entire recipe. Now, if you're using raw cabbage, we'll boil the large leaves in salted water until they're soft enough that you can fold them without breaking. And once you're down to the smaller leaves, have the head and remove the core. Thinly slice the remaining cabbage until you have 10 cups. Believe it or not, but two heads actually produced 12 large leaves and 10 cups of sliced cabbage, plus a little extra. It is deceivingly fluffy. Now we'll add chicken or vegetable stock to the onion mixture and bring it to a boil over high heat. Add the sliced cabbage and more flaky sea salt and cover the pot Reduce the heat to medium and cook at a simmer, stirring every now and then until the cabbage is tender but not mushy, about seven minutes. My frozen cabbage is already tender, so this won't take too long. This part is basically infusing the cabbage with the flavor. And once it's done, we'll remove the pot from the heat. FYI, this is the vegan bouillon I use when I need a stock on the fly. I've been using it for years and I really like its flavor. This is not a paid endorsement, it's just a product I really like. So moving along, we'll generously butter a heavy enameled baking dish large enough to hold 12 rolls in a single layer. Now for the rolling. Lay the leaves on a work surface concave side up. If the stems are really thick, just flip them over and take a knife to shave off a little bit of the stem and then flip them back over to stuff. Give the cabbage bacon mixture a good stir and with a slotted spoon, scoop some into the leaf, leaving a half inch border. I could have added more here, but at the beginning I didn't know how far the stuffing could go. And then sprinkle a generous pinch of shredded or grated Parmesan cheese, and then make the roll. I like to tuck in my ends, but you don't have to. In fact, the original recipe says to leave the ends open. And then transfer the roll to the baking dish, seam side down. Once each roll has been made, turn on the broiler 
and pop the baking dish in the oven about four inches from the heat source and cook occasionally basting with some of the reserved cooking liquid from the stuffing. So that means that when you're stuffing the leaf, you may want to squeeze out some of the liquid. And we'll boil this until the tops are lightly browned and hot all the way through three to five minutes, but I guess this really depends on your boiler. And once you've decided they're done, sprinkle more cheese and flaky sea salt. And then, and you can't miss this part, squeeze on just enough lemon that it tastes bright but not acidic. You may even want a few turns of fresh cracked pepper and even a drizzle of olive oil and enjoy it straight away. So there you have it, cabbage stuffed cabbage. Using frozen cabbage, this maybe took an hour from start to finish, which was quicker than I expected from eating the recipe. The full recipe is at cookingcompaniontv.com. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe to this channel for more demonstrations just like this. I'm Jenna Edwards and thanks for watching.